Hey guys, uh, John here on a beautiful night in Southern California, and I'm just out here kind of doing my normal evening routine, doing a little bit of um, work, trying to get ready for uh, the next day. You know, just not, not a lot, just a little bit of light reading and some uh, some information gathering, if you will, just to get some stuff. So I have a little bit of a head start in the morning when I uh, do my stuff. And, you know, I was going through some of the comments on some of the videos today, you know, one of the stories that came out today was they got their lead cast for the How to Train Your Dragon live action remake. And I thought it was a terrific looking cast. I mean, they got the kid from uh, the Black Phone, which to me is really quite exciting. Uh, they went and got the girl, uh, Nico Parker, I think is her name, from uh, Last of Us, who I think is tremendously gifted. And I love the episode she was in. I think she's going to be fantastic in this. And I started noticing that there were a bunch of comments on the girl being in it and people complaining that this How to Train Your Dragon thing is already ruined because they changed Astrid. Because they changed Astrid. And because they changed Astrid, that means this thing was a complete disaster. It was ruined. It was destined to fail because they changed Astro. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was interesting. Because you know, you know full goddamn well that if Astrid's supposed to be five foot three, and they made they hired a cast a girl who was five foot four and a half, that's a significant change, but nobody would have said anything, right? They wouldn't have said a thing. If Astrid is supposed to have hazel brown eyes, but they cast an actress who had walnut brown eyes, well, that's a change. But you know, full goddamn well, they wouldn't have complained about it. Wouldn't have said a thing. Would have been perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that change. If they, in the movie, Astrid was supposed to be right-handed, and they had the audacity to hire an actress who was right-handed, well, that's a change. It's a change. You know goddamn well they wouldn't have said a thing about it because that's fine. But oh my God, if you get a girl who the pigmentation of her skin tone is a little bit different than Astrid's is, and then we, by the way, Astrid, who comes from a complete mythological fairy tale, non-existent, completely made up in fiction race of people and Vikings that don't really exist. If the pigmentation of her skin is a little bit darker than what Astrid's is in the cartoon, height, not a problem. Eye color, not a problem. Hand, not a problem. Oh, tone of her skin. That's a problem. This movie's doomed because they got an actress, regardless of how talented or gifted, whose skin color is a little bit darker than the one in cartoon. See, that change, that's too much. And I want to say this. Please get the fuck off my channel, you mouth-breathing, basement-dwelling, cousin, cousin humper, humping motherfuckers. Just get off my channel. Don't come to my channel. I am on a personal mission. I want to purge 30,000 of my subscribers off my channel by the within the next 48 hours. And I would like them to be, because with the number of comments of people saying such idiotic, moronic things, I figure there's got to be at least 30,000 of you knuckle draggers around there. So please just leave my channel. Don't come back. Don't watch my stuff. Uh, I, I want to purge 30,000 things. Do me a favor, you racist pieces of shit, and go and find one of your echo chamber websites where you can all stand around and jerk each other off while you tilt your head back and go, woke, woke. And then you can come on each other's faces and tell each other that come on your face cleanses you of wokeness. Yeah, tell yourselves that. Whatever is going to get you off and make you feel good about yourself. Uh, just don't come around here. Nobody complains about the height of Hugh Jackman. Nobody complains that, about the physical differences between my beloved Henry Cavill and what he looked like in the comics versus what he looked like in the movies. No, because those, those changes aren't a problem. The changes are only a problem if the girl's skin color is a little bit different. Um, yeah, so just, you know, 
Go away. Don't, I, I Believe me, I've been doing this. I'm coming up on my 20th anniversary. I'm perfectly good. I can retire tomorrow. It doesn't matter. I just still do this job because I think it's fun. That's all. But, but you really need to go find an echo chamber where you and your illiterate brood can just gather around and, and just, like I said, do a big circle jerk with each other. Uh, yeah, that's all my thoughts for tonight. Thanks for joining me, guys.